Hello. Hi. Welcome to my channel again. Okay. All right. Uh, today, I'm going to present to you about animals. Uh, some important animals that we know, uh, like the biggest, the smallest, sex, etc. Right. I'll show you the pictures and uh, I'll uh, give a brief, okay, explanation about them. So, please be patient and let us go through. Okay. Yes, the title and presentation is by me, the King Cobra. Okay, I'll move on now. Okay, we start off with the largest animal on land. Okay, the largest animal on land is the African elephant. Okay, the African elephant can uh, weigh up to six tons. Okay, one ton is 1,000 kilo. One ton is 1,000 kilo. So, the African elephant can weigh up to six tons. Okay, uh, the distribution, it can be found in Africa. Okay, there are two types of elephant. One is the African elephant and the other one is the Indian elephant found in India. Okay, so the biggest animal on land is the African elephant. Okay, all right. The next one. Now, the tallest animal in the world, okay, is the giraffe. All right, it's not the longest, I mean on land, the tallest animal on land, it is the giraffe, okay, the maximum height it can go up to six meters, all right, six meters, uh, then I, the distribution is in Africa, okay, it's same like the African elephant, uh, this giraffe is, uh, the origin is from Africa, can go up to six meters. I'm sure you see this in a National Geographic Wild or Animal Planet. Okay, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've not been to Africa, but I've seen it in Singapore Zoo. Okay, so this is the tallest animal on land. All right, the next one, the largest animal in the world, in the whole world that includes land, sea. All right, it is the blue whale. Okay, bigger than the elephant. All right, now, the blue whale. It can weigh up to 190 tons. Okay, like what I said, one ton is 1,000 kilo. It can go up to 190 tons and a length of up to 30 meters. The length is up to 30 meters. All right. Now, where can it be found? Uh, it is in the Arctic Ocean. All right. It's in the Arctic Ocean. And uh, yeah, this is so far the biggest animal. Uh, both on land and sea, this is the is in the sea, the blue whale, all right. So imagine uh, African elephant is six times, or oh, this is 190 times, many, many times bigger than an elephant. Okay, now, all right, now, I'm going to tell about the next one, the fastest animal on land, the fastest animal on land, it is the cheetah. Okay, it can run up to 130 kilometers per hour. Okay. Oh, if you speed your car up to 130 kilometers, you know how fast it goes. So that is the maximum speed of a cheetah. All right. Now, it can be found in Africa also. The distribution is in Africa. Oh, oh I've seen this in Singapore Zoo. Oh, it's uh, very slim. The body type is created just for running, just for speeding. Oh. The body is very slim and it's uh, quite uh, the height is quite it's quite a uh, tall compared to uh, other cats. Um, it's very slim and it got high bones for sprinting. Mm. So this is the fastest animal on land, a cheetah. Okay, now the fastest animal in the sea it is the black marlin. The black marlin, it's a fish. Okay, the speed is up to 130 kilometers per hour. Okay, speed, same or like a cheetah, but that is in the land, this is in the sea. Okay, now where it can be found? The distribution is in the Indian and Pacific Ocean. Okay, so the fastest animal in the sea is the black marlin. So this is the black marlin, oh, uh, the needle-like nose. Hmm. Okay. I'll move on to the next one. Okay, the fastest animal on air, 
the fastest animal on air. If it's in the air, it must be a bird. It is the peregrine falcon. Okay, the peregrine falcon is the fastest animal, the fastest bird in the air. The speed is up to 390 kilometers per hour. Oh my god, 390 kilometers is very fast. Okay, it can be found in uh, many parts of the world, but mainly, uh, the distribution mainly is in North and South America. North America, South America. So this is the fastest bird, fastest animal on air, the peregrine falcon. Okay. Next one. The largest bird in the world. Okay. The ostrich. I'm sure many of us know this. The ostrich. The weight, the weight is up to 100 kilogram. And the height is 2 meters. Okay. It can be found. The distribution is in Africa. And it also lays the largest egg. It's a very big egg. So this is the largest bird in the world. The ostrich. Okay. Next one. The smallest bird in the world, it is the hummingbird. Okay, the weight is up to 2 to 3 grams. Only 2 to 3 grams, which is very light. And um, the length is only 6 centimeters, which is uh, very small. 2 to 3 grams is very light. And um, it, uh, it flies very fast. You know? uh, the distribution, it can be found in the West Indies. All right, that's where can be found so the smallest bird in the world is the hummingbird okay now uh, the largest cat in the world okay tiger uh, many of us we we mistake whether is it the lion or the tiger actually it's tiger in terms of body mass the weight tiger is heavier than a lion but a male lion looks bigger because of the hair okay the head is small but the hair the hair of a male lion right it makes it look big that's it but uh, actually a tiger is the largest cat in the world uh, it can weigh up to 300 kilograms and the height of up to 1.2 meters mm. so this uh is very aggressive and very fierce i'm sure you've seen this in a, a zoo or some nature parks or uh, national geographic wild Animal planet, the distribution, it can be found in Asia. Okay, there are a few types. There's a Bengal tiger, which can be found in India. The Malayan tiger in Malaysia and the Siberian tiger. Okay, but the origin is from Asia, can be found. All right. So the largest cat is the tiger. Now, the largest reptile in the world is the saltwater crocodile. Okay, now it weighs from half a ton to one ton it's very heavy half a ton to one ton okay it can grow up to six meters the record is up to six meters um, it can be found in asia and australia okay the distribution is in asia and australia like uh, this is also aggressive it can eat you up okay uh, when you go for swimming let's say you Happen to come across a saltwater crocodile. I mean, it sees you as a prey. It sees you as a meal to eat. Mm. It will just eat up any living thing that it can eat up. Same like a python can swallow any living thing that it can swallow. All right. So the largest reptile in the world is the saltwater crocodile. Mm. Now the largest bear in the world. Okay, there's a tie. Okay, there are two large bears in the world. This one is the polar bear. The other one is the Kodiak bear. Right? Uh, many people, they mistaken the grizzly bear is the largest bear, but it's not. The grizzly bear, it looks like the Kodiak bear, which you see on the right. But the uh, grizzly bear is size slightly smaller. Okay, in terms of weight, body mass, the polar bear and the Kodiak bear, they are big. All right? They can weigh up to 600 kilograms. 600 kilos. Okay, now. Where can they, can they be found? The polar bear can be found in the, the origin is from the Arctic Circle. Now the Kodiak bear, it is found in Alaska. Right? So these two are the largest bears in the world. The polar bear, a tie between the polar bear on the left and the Kodiak bear on the right. Now I've seen the, I've seen the polar bear in the zoo. Right now, let's see, let's see. I'll go on to the next one. Now the smallest bear in the world. 
The smallest bear in the world is the sun bear. It can weigh up to 70 kilograms and a height of 70 centimeters. No, you can, you can stand up and the height of uh, 70 centimeters. All right. Uh, this is the bear where we used to see in documentary. It climb up tree. You no, know, it reaches the beehive and eats the honey. Yeah, it's this bear. Okay, now where can it be found? It can be found in Asia. Okay, I've seen this bear in the zoo and I've seen this bear in India. All right. Then, uh, when I went for a, a nature a nature hike, I saw it in India. So this is the smallest bear in the world, the sun bear, black in color. Okay. Now, the largest monkey in the world, all right, is the mandrill. The mandrill is the largest monkey in the world. Now, many people, they make a mistake, including me. I also made a mistake, but when I did research on the internet and I studied about animals, you know, uh, I was thinking that the gorilla is the largest monkey in the world, but it is not. The gorilla is not a monkey. It is an ape. Ape is a different species. Monkey is a different species. The difference, I'll explain to you later, okay? I'll explain to you later what is the difference between a monkey and an ape. So, the largest monkey in the world is the mandrill. So, this is a mandrill. I've seen this in the Singapore Zoo, yes. Okay, it can weigh up to 40 kilograms and a height of one meter. Okay, now the distribution, the origin, it can be found in Africa. This one. Okay, this is the largest monkey in the world, the mandrill. Now, the smallest monkey in the world is called the pygmy marmoset. All right, pygmy marmoset. It, the weight is up to 100 gram and a length of just 15 centimeters oh 15 centimeters you can hold it in your palm maybe mm. and the origin is in south american you can find it uh, the distribution the origin is from the south american jungles okay so the smallest monkey in the world is the pygmy mamose okay i'll move on to the next one ah the largest ape in the world gorilla Okay, like what I said, gorilla is not a monkey, it's an ape. Okay, the largest ape in the world is the gorilla. It can weigh up to 140 kilograms. And when it stand up, stand, stands up a height of 1.8 meters, like uh, it can stand up face to face with a human. Or maybe there may be larger ones, but uh, an average of uh, 1.8 meters. Okay, the distribution, the origin can be found. It can be found in Africa. Okay, now. So the largest ape in the world is the gorilla. Oh, now the smallest ape in the world is the pygmy chimpanzee. So chimpanzee is also not a monkey, it's an ape. Okay, it can weigh up to 60 kilogram and a height of one meter. I mean, it stands up a mere height of one meter. And it's also the origin, it can be found in Africa. So most of the animals today I talk about is uh, all from Africa. All right, now, what's the difference between a monkey and an ape? Okay, orangutan, gorilla, and chimpanzee, they are ape. Okay, the proboscis monkey, mandrill, okay, baboon, they are all monkeys. The difference between a monkey and an ape, okay, is monkey have tail. They have tail on their back. Uh, ape, it does not have a tail. That's the first difference. The second difference is ape and monkey. Ape is bigger in size. Okay, the body mass the size is bigger compared to monkeys. That's the second uh, difference between them. The third difference is apes. They are more intelligent. Their ability to interact with human beings, their ability to pick up things is very fast. Okay, their ability to learn is very fast. Like for example, uh, you've seen like a policeman handling dogs. They use most of the time they use German Shepherd to uh, sniff for drugs to catch people smuggling drugs, you know. Why? Because a German Shepherd, his intelligent power is very high. The ability to interact with humans, the ability to learn. It's a very smart dog. Same, okay, apes and monkeys. Apes, they are very smart. They are very smart uh, species. The ability to mix with human, ability to, to learn. Mm, like you see, uh, those days, the Tarzan movies, Tarzan's best friend would be an ape, a chimpanzee. Yeah, like that, uh, they mix. Uh, uh, very fast with a uh, human, um, uh, quite friendly compared to uh, monkeys who are sometimes aggressive. But uh, gorillas, they can be aggressive with uh, those from the wild. They can be aggressive also. 
they can beat and even kill you. All right, so that's the difference between uh, ape and monkey. Mandrail, uh, pygmy mammoset, uh, baboon, proboscis monkey, they are all monkeys. Orang utan, chimpanzee, gorilla, they are all apes. Okay, so that's how scientists, they classify the two of them, they separate the two of them. All right, so that's an end. Any comments or suggestion, please, you can email me at sugu underscore king at yahoo.com.sg or king cobra sugumar at gmail.com okay if you like my videos please uh, subscribe to my channel and like my videos okay uh, now because of the uh, current uh, uh, covid 19 situation i'm uh, not able to go and do some outdoor videos but once uh, this uh, pandemic lockdown is over i'll, I'll be going out uh, to uh, forested areas and uh, yeah, if I happen to find some animals or snakes or, or lizards, yeah, I'll also uh, take can take selfie with them or I'll feature them in the video also. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll see you again in my next video. All right, bye bye. Have a nice day. This is yeah, my cobra.